I guess I'll say my thoughts on what I briefly think about March Sheik as a matchup, especially kind of seeing this, uh, you know, I'll talk about what I think the matchup ratio is like. I'll talk about the FD kind of picks, what, uh, how stages should go, all of that stuff. Um, I think if I had to say it, you give, you put a gun in my head right now, what I think the matchup is, I would say that it is Sheik favored because um, her crouch cancel allows for so many reversals, makes disadvantage and advantage really good for her. Um, edge guarding is deadly. Uh, juggles are really good for her. Um, the one thing that Marth has, though, that doesn't make it like super, super bad is that Marth has that range. Like, he has better movement overall. He can walk. Like, if he were to tip her, a lot of his like down tilts and aerials, like, he has like the better neutral game. Like, dash dances pretty well, too. I would say I, I had a lesson of Dread Fox a couple weeks ago on Marth versus Sheik. And he, he, he also thinks that it's 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 Sheik favored, but in a way where like Mart just needs to make like a couple more reads on average than Sheik does. It's not like a such a losing matchup that Mart can't do anything. Like all you need to do is just like make a couple more reads and then like it's just like one to two more reads than a Sheik player would each stock. And like when you put it that way, that that's like Mart's losing matchup, it's like that's not Bad. Like, that's not like such a bad matchup that you need to consider put picking up another character. And furthermore, what's more important to literally anybody that's not named Zane that could consider like picking up another character or whatnot, I want to be good enough to the point where I can say that, oh, I lost because it's a matchup's fault. You know? Like, I don't think I'm at the point in my skill level right now where I can say that I have used everything in Mart's toolkit to overcome this matchup. I have developed myself so much more. I, I like I've I've developed so much more as a player that Mart is holding me back. I cannot definitively say that right now. I think it's actually really silly of me to think that I'm entitled to that kind of opinion to say, oh yeah, Mart loses, and that's why I'm losing. Because no way, no shot am I even, like, at that skill level to say that I am losing because of the matchup. Like, I was literally looking at Grands and multiple times I was like, oh yeah, I think Zane could have done this and that better. Like, yeah, it's hard, but, like, you know, I think certain optimizations could have been made to, like, you know, you know, if he made that one optimization, he could have won 3-2. Like, it's not like Zane got 6-0'd. Um, and whatnot. It's like, I'm reminded of back then where it was inconceivable for Fox to beat Marth in like, I'd say 2019 to 2021, that two year stretch period where like Fox Marth hate was at his peak, where like Fox is like, oh my god, I have to work so hard, I can't do anything, Fox, is, Fox just dies in one hit, I can't do anything against Marth, and it's like, dude, like, you realize that even at the time, every single one of them, like, were not good enough to make that claim. Only, like, maybe two foxes in the world could say that. And Mango always had that opinion where, like, he just, like, firmly disagreed. Like, no, no, Fox can't do it. And, like, he did prove it. And now we see Cody Schwab having, like, a winning record at the moment versus Zane, where... He did, like, the unthinkable where he 3 0 Zayn on FD. Like, stuff that's like, damn. Like, it was, un back then it was unthinkable to beat Zayn on FD. And now we, it's like, well, it could happen. He, like, Cody has taken so many games off of Zayn on FD. Um, it, it just goes to show that even at top level, like, they, they, like, I really sincerely doubt that even at the top level, the top players have exhausted literally everything that the character can offer. And like, and that they can't develop themselves even a little bit better as a player. And I'm definitely not at the point where I can say that even if Sheik wins, 
which by the way like the metagame can change like there could be some technology out there like you know people did like foxes did not know how to edge guard mark and then after we saw cody schwab and mango make some edge guard advancements and juggle advancements looks a lot different now uh and the same thing could be said like the metagame in melee is always cyclical like you know when pp pushed the matchup back then it was like oh i guess mark wins and then now the sheiks are fighting back and then zane's fighting back and now jmooks are fighting back and it's a matter of time to see what what's like the next step you know it's i i can't even be so totally certain that sheik wins the matchup because frankly not only do i not know enough about the game but there's also potential developments that i'm thinking about that like could change the matchup you know uh you know maybe i could put a say zane might come up with something to really change the matchup uh so like i'm not even like definitively certain that sheik beats mark uh and even if that is the case i'm not good enough to blame the matchup and my goal as like a top player myself is to be so good where I could finally blame the matchup. And I don't even think I'm even close to the point where I could blame the matchup. Just my thoughts on what I think about the Mark Sheik metagame is that at the end of the day, even if they lose, even if Mark loses, still just need to be a better player.